Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is I've read this dot com video book reviews. Um, happy Halloween, first of all. As you can see, I've tried to spruce up the bookshelf a little with some Halloween decorations. It's probably a bit sad. I'm, I've decorated my house a little bit better, but um, I want to make this a slightly festive bookshelf for this video. Um, tonight I'm going to be reviewing The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. And before I actually get into what's between the pages, I just want to talk about the cover. Isn't this so beautiful? I love how they have this kind of weathered sticker to kind of make it look like an old, you know, paperback library book from the 70s. The, um, the cover itself is just so, uh, you know, evocative. It's got this great um, bygone era feel and um, it's like a perfect descriptor of what's in the pages as well because when you read about the characters you get that sense that it's the 70s and there's kids running around on their bikes and um, it's just I really loved the cover it really intrigued me. Um, the book itself has been called cinematic the writing and I think this is a really spot-on adjective for it because as I read through it I could easily picture it all happening on the screen in front of me and I really hope that this book's uh, film rights are sold because I would love to see it on the big screen. Um, I think it's a really wonderful story and it would be great to see uh, in film. So basically it's about a young boy named Jake and the story kind of centers on this particular summer in his life when he's like a, like a preteen and um, we get, uh, we're told that Jake is, um, as he grows up into an adult, he's a brain surgeon. So clearly he's a successful adult, but we focus on this one particular summer and he's kind of nerdy, doesn't have a lot of friends, and he has this really strange uncle named Uncle Calvin. And this character in particular is very cinematic himself. He's tall and gangly and has long white hair. See, he kind of reminded me of this sort of series of unfortunate events type um, look to him, the way that he was described in the novel. So um, basically, Jake's Uncle Calvin is really into the spirits and the dark arts, and he kind of convinces Jake and his new friend that they're gonna start this club called the Saturday Night Ghost Club, and they visit all these different haunted areas in the city um, called Cataract City, which is actually Niagara Falls. And Craig Davidson has another book called Cataract City. Um, and this city in particular is an interesting place because it's, it's um, very industrial, parts of it are abandoned, uh, but it also has this huge tourist aspect to it because of the, the falls being right there. So it's, it's almost, the setting's almost a character in itself. But um, basically, Jake goes to these haunted places with his uncle, they experience some weird things. But I do want to warn you that the book is not horror, it's not that kind of genre fiction. Um, Craig Davidson does write horror underneath uh, the pseudonym Nick Cutter, and I have read some of those books and they are really quite scary. I wouldn't call this book scary, it's atmospheric, it's spooky at times, but it is literary. It's mainly about Jake um, you know, kind of coming into his own in this one particular summer. So, um, just wanted to make that clear. I read this in less than 24 hours. I raced through it. It's, I, I wouldn't say the plot is, it, it's not exactly plot driven necessarily. I had an idea of what was happening as I started reading it but I became so invested in the characters and again the atmosphere it just it really drew me in and I think that's one reason why I read it so quickly. Another is that it's it's just it's simply not very long. The text is quite large on the page there so it, it didn't take me very long to read just because of the length but um, I really do recommend this book because I think it's really really interesting and um, the way that Davidson kind of brings us back into that certain time period is um, so appropriate and he's done such a great job at bringing us into this world that um, I really felt like I was in it as I was reading the story. So highly recommended for that reason. Um, I'm going to be 
posting um, one more Halloween review on October 31st and now that I've said it on camera I have to definitely do it and I'm gonna be reviewing a very scary book for that day so you have that to look forward to and in case I don't post any video book reviews in the month of November I will definitely be seeing you guys on December 1st because I'm going to be doing my short story advent calendar daily reviews again as well as my chocolate advent calendar review and I already have the chocolate advent calendar and I'm so excited to break it open and there's the short story advent calendar up there I don't know if you can see it um, so really excited to break the seal on that December 1st so um, yeah thank you for tuning in tonight and happy Halloween and I will see you guys in a few weeks bye